This is a Fox News Extreme Weather Alert. I'm Brett Baer in Washington. Hurricane Matthew is closing in on the Florida coast at this hour as millions of residents in the southeast head for higher ground. Mass evacuations are underway, mostly in Florida, but also from coastal areas in Georgia and South Carolina. Hurricane Matthew was upgraded to a Category 4 hurricane this morning after tearing through the Caribbean and leaving at least 108 people dead. We have Team Fox coverage tonight. Meteorologist Rick Reichmuth is at the Fox Weather Center in New York with the latest on Matthew's track as of this hour. Jonathan Sarah is in Folly Beach, south of Charleston, South Carolina, a city known for its hospitality, but now telling people to get out and get out fast. But we begin with correspondent Steve Harrigan in Wabasso Beach, Florida. Good evening, Steve. Good evening, Brett. The winds now here kicking up to 40 miles an hour. That means they're going to start closing bridges. We're going to have to back up a little bit. When the winds hit 50 miles an hour, that means first responders will not be able to go out and help people. The real fear across this state is a possible direct hit by a Category 4 storm. That, in the words of Governor Scott, would be catastrophic. Time is running out for more than 1.5 million Floridians under orders to evacuate as Hurricane Matthew roars towards the coast. Those most at risk are on the barrier islands along Florida's eastern shore. So with possessions, pets, flashlights, bottled water and food for three days, they are on the move, seeking higher ground and shelter in the face of the most powerful storm to hit Florida in a decade. We have the house all boarded up. We have all the supplies. We're just kind of thinking of last minute things, anything that would help out. But not everyone has the means to escape the storm. I have no car. I'm filed for disability and trapped. Just boarded up the best I could and did what I did what I could to get by. Already more than 100 people have been killed in Matthew's path, most of them in Haiti, where many coastal residents live in simple shacks of wood and tarpaulins. A direct hit by a Category 4 hurricane along the coast of Florida with wind speeds of greater than 130 miles per hour would be catastrophic. Even a glancing blow or a close passage of the eye wall could cause major structural damage to homes, roads, trees, and knock out electrical power for weeks. A storm surge in some areas of six to nine feet above ground level could put houses underwater. Florida has two million new residents since the last major storm hit. To them, Governor Rick Scott's message has been stark. This storm can kill. And at the very minimum, everyone on the East Coast will lose power. If you're in an evacuation zone, get out. This is not something you should take a chance with. Time's running out. Leave. There's no excuses. The roads are open. Uh, you should get out. Evacuate, evacuate, evacuate. Scott is also asking for help from the federal government. He says Florida will need food, water, and tarps in the days ahead. The state has opened more than 100 shelters and mobilized more than 2,000 National Guard members. Travel out of the state gets more difficult every hour, with reports of many gas stations running low on fuel. Thousands of flights through Florida have been canceled, and Fort Lauderdale International Airport has been shut down. The last major storm to hit Florida was Wilma in 2005. To put that in perspective, Wilma killed 62 people and caused $30 billion worth of damage. Brett, back to you. All right, Steve Harrigan down there on the beach. Steve, stay safe. Thank you.